Um, hopefully it's not too echoey. I'm in my bathroom right now. It's the only place where I can get a decent lighting shot without rearranging my entire room. Um, I'm recording this on a whim because I thought I was going somewhere right now, but that got pushed back to a little later. Um, so I had free time and I've already got my practice in for the day, even though I could be doing other studying. Um, I decided to film a video. I, last night, was like rewatching some of my older YouTube videos and I had a lot of emotions. <laughs> I think the main thing that came to my mind while listening and watching those videos was that I felt really detached from myself. I was watching me and I'm like, didn't, it didn't, I felt like I was watching somebody else. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It was like an out of body experience. I felt really sad listening to that person because. Me, I'll like, it's me, but I'm gonna call her like she and her, but, like, she was just so beat down <laughs> and she was so insecure. Not to say that I'm not insecure, but it was different because, well, one, I was at my heaviest at that point. Um, I gained a lot of weight last year because I was on birth control and I just had like a whole like list of side effects and that included me gaining a lot of weight. And I just felt physically unattractive. Um, I just felt like a piece of shit <laughs> back then. Was it, which video was it? Oh, um, my day in the life of a lost music student. It was that video where I was just watching myself talk and I'm like, I just wanted to hug her and be like, you're doing great. <laughs> you're okay. It gets better. And I think I knew that back then too, when I was recording the video that it would get better. But in that moment, I would just felt so lost. Hence, a uh, lost music student. <laughs> um, I'm still very much lost, but I think I've gotten a grasp of more, if that makes sense. Like, there's more things that I know now. And obviously with that comes a lot of things that I don't know. But in this time of uncertainty for a lot of job markets, especially music, um, I'm trying my best now to make the most of what I have. I did debate not going back to school this semester, but I kind of took this as an opportunity to focus on more more of what I like about music instead of just constantly worrying about oh, I need to practice this for this class, oh, I need to practice this for this class because yes, I'll still be doing that, but I think I have a bit more freedom and flexibility this semester because everything is online and there's not a lot of like playing things that you can do when you're online I'm gonna take this semester to just figure out why I like music again um, because I know that I want to do music. That, for a fact, like, will not change, at least as of right now. <laughs> um, but I think even for the near and far future, it won't change unless something drastic happens, which <laughs> I hope that doesn't. But I was listening to Scary Pockets and Stories last night. They're kind of like the same people, like the same people are behind it, but Stories is more for acoustic covers and Scary Pockets is like funk covers of different mainstream songs. And I just, I was jamming around the house, bothering my mom and Eugene, just sitting into a water bottle like a mic. Um, that was really fun and seeing people enjoy what they want to do helped me realize that I need to figure out what I enjoy doing within the context of music. And I've been figuring that out throughout college mostly because that's when I started developing my own ideas after talking to a lot of different people and just having different experiences at music school. Um, in high school I thought that I was going to become an orchestral musician but that like in the back of my mind gave me a lot of anxiety because some part of I think some part of me knew that I didn't want to do that full time but now like 
even having a teacher that's like a freelance musician that like just really opened my eyes to a different world of music. Um, and a lot of things seemed possible for the first time, especially this year. What I wanted to say is that I've realized how much I've grown as a person and now I know that I'm going to grow even more as a person because that video I watched, the older video I watched of myself, that was only about a year ago and within this year alone I've improved a lot in many different ways. I've even opened up my own shop, um, <laughs> which is crazy because I literally told my friends, and this was like an idea that I've had for a really long time, after watching people like Shea Bar Shea Cheyenne Barton, I can't even speak, Cheyenne Barton, just seeing people release their own like little cute Etsy shops, I'm like, damn, I want to do that. And I've always wanted to do it since high school, but it hasn't been a reality for me until this summer. Um, I didn't even have a, like, a way to create digital art that way, and I don't. I didn't know how to start it, but I started researching so much this summer, and within like a couple of months, I managed to put out like art stuff, and that's kind of crazy to me because I don't know if I've taken the plunge like that into something so quickly. I don't know about quickly, like I have been mulling about this for a really long time, but the way I managed to make it a reality is still kind of weird for me because it was just this simple little idea that I was like, I literally told my friends like, oh, it might not even happen this summer, like I don't even know, but maybe one day I want to do it. And I found myself just researching more and more, being like, can I do this? Am I able to do this? And then I did it. Maybe I'll make a video about it. I didn't really document much of the process because I don't even know if it was going to happen. Like, I had all of my stuff ready. I just didn't know when I was going to put it out. Even at a certain point, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing this. Oh my god, am I actually doing this? But I think that really just shows me, like, after looking back, that I've grown as a person in the way that I'm able to go after my goals and make them successful, <laughs> which is weird because I'm just so used to failure all the time, if you know what I mean. But yeah, regarding my shop, I'm surprised and happy that it became a reality, but also I'm proud of myself because like I said, it was a small idea in the beginning of summer, and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do it. I have like text proof of it too, just like, yeah, I kind of want to open a sticker shop, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know how I'm going to do it, blah, 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 blah. But I just found myself researching um, where to print, how to do it. I even had like a breakdown <laughs> over how to format stickers on Illustrator. <laughs> like, my friend and I were talking about how we're starting to see success in a lot of our peers around us and while that's also scary, that's also very exciting because we're at that age where we're finally starting to see the fruits of our labor, um, to see things that we're creating that we're proud of and I just think that's so cool. Um, but I still have like a little doubt in my mind, you know? And I think, uh, what, what, did it, what did we say? Do you, I don't know if my younger self would be proud of me. And I think she will, she would be proud of me, like specifically 2011 Hannah. If not 2011 Hannah, at least one year ago Hannah would be really proud of me and where I am because I'm starting to realize what I like and what I don't like. I'm willing to do unconventional things. Not even unconventional, just following my own path when people around me aren't necessarily on the same path. But it's so nice because 
they're encouraging me on my path and I'm so happy for my other friends on their paths with anything they're doing. And I think that's what's most comforting about growing up in a good community. And I think that's why I've been realizing how much I've grown in this year because I'm surrounded by good people. I'm starting to realize my self-worth, even if it's just a tiny bit. I'm not fully there yet, but it's very tiny, tiny, tiny. But it's something, and I'm happy about that. All right, um, I'm using a new mic, so I have no idea how it's gonna sound, but. Um, I filmed that video a few days ago when I was actually feeling good, and I've been feeling good in that video for a long time. But then like literally the day after I filmed that video, I kind of died. I was like, mm, I don't feel good anymore. <laughs> um, we love that. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, even though I'm not feeling as good and as yay life as I was in that previous clip, I'm still doing okay. Um, since Horn, no, not since Horn, since school started and started picking up a little, um, it's, I think getting, like, I've been getting back in the mindset of, I'm not doing enough, oh my god, I'm not doing enough, and, like, that's been a little hard, but, yeah, um, I'm just trying to do the best I can, um, I'm thinking of designing stickers for my shop, and even that, I'm like, oh, is my art good enough? Like, I've, I, like, I like my art for a while, and then I started hating it again, so I don't know what my deal is, but maybe it's a changing weather, it could be the seasons, you know, who knows, but yeah, I didn't want to upload that when I was feeling shitty, so this is kind of a mini update after a few days of film, after filming that, so I'm still okay, um, had a fun day today. And I hope I can feel fu- like, I hope I can feel better soon again. Let's see how that goes. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Whoever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever you're working towards, I'm very proud of you. semester um, to everybody that's going back to school.